Live from Cambridge, Massachusetts, it's The Cube at the MIT Chief Data Officer and Information Quality Symposium. With hosts Dave Vellante and Jeff Kelly. Massachusetts, this is Dave Vellante and I'm here with Jeff Kelly. We're here at MIT at the Tang Center. This is the second year that theCUBE has been at the MIT Information Quality Symposium. Uh, hashtag MITIQ. The Information Quality Symposium is probably the world's leading uh, forum for thought leaders and chief data officers around data quality and it's certainly got a boost in the last several years with all this talk about big data and data analytics. Uh, but sort of that role of the chief data officer, uh, even though maybe that, that term uh, has not been around uh, forever, uh, has really um, been around in terms of the function for quite some time. A lot of data governance, a lot of issues around information quality, certainly touches along security and, and other factors. So we're here covering uh, the symposium for the next two days. We just heard a number of keynotes. Uh, Jeff and I were in there, as well as Paul Gillen, who's also going to be uh, co-hosting or tri-hosting with us this week. We've got a great lineup, uh, a lot of academics, a lot of thought leaders, a lot of chief data officers, uh, consultants, analysts, maybe some bloggers, and uh, coming at you, as I say, for two days, over the next two days here, live from Cambridge, Massachusetts. So Jeff, I want to turn it over to you. We were here last year. The big question on the table is, do you need a CDO? Should that uh, chief data officer uh, have a role that's separate from the information technology department, from the CIO? Um, we saw that there were several industries where that CDO role was emerging, certainly healthcare, financial services, uh, government, and other regulated industries, but it hasn't gained broad acceptance, at least at the time, had not gained broad acceptance in most commercial marketplaces. Has that changed over the last 12 months? Well, I think we're moving in the direction of it being more, uh, more acceptable, a more uh, routine um, position in, in the enterprise. I wouldn't say we're at you know, mainstream adoption where you're seeing most enterprises having a chief data officer at this point, but I think that's the direction we're moving. The idea that if data is a strategic asset and you need to treat it as such, uh, the idea of having a C-level executive kind of oversee that function uh, does make a lot of sense. Now the question of course is, you know, is this, is the CDO a, a permanent position? Is this something that's going to be with us 10 years from now? And that's something you've got to think about. You don't want to create a C-level position just for the sake of it or, or based on a kind of passing fad. But I would argue that based on what we're seeing in terms of, as uh, we just heard in the keynote here from Dr. Rick Watson talking about the digitization of capital, I would argue that the CDO position is a critical one. Um, and one that most organizations are going to look to implement over the next, it's going to be a longer period of time, five, 10, 15 years. Uh, you know, the question is, there are a number of questions. You know, where will that role, the CDO, fit in the larger uh, enterprise in terms of the organizational uh, org chart? Uh, what specifically will be their, will be their mandate? Will, will it be around data governance um, and managing uh, the flow of data within an organization? Does it also include actually taking advantage of and, and utilizing that data for competitive advantage, the analytics component? Is it a little bit of both? Um, and so what role specifically will the CDO play? Uh, and how will they interact with both the IT side, the business side, and the operations side? So a bunch of unanswered questions that I think we're going to try to sort out today. Um, as you mentioned, we've got a number of CDOs on. We've got um, academics who have been doing a lot of academic research in this area. Um, we're here at MIT, so we've got some of the smartest minds uh, of course, to uh, help us sift through some of these questions. So, looking forward to it. So, you could you can see maybe some of the logos behind us here. We've got a lot of uh, contributors to the MIT Information Quality Symposium. Obviously, the MIT, uh, MIT IQ, you know, part that uh, is run by Rich Rich Wang. Uh, the Sloan School is involved. We got MIT SSRC. Uh, we got IQ. We're gonna have Stuart Madnick on, uh, and he's gonna explain uh, who the contributors are. Uh, but, and we'll be unpacking that over the next two days. We also just went through the, uh, the keynotes. Rich Wang introduced sort of the, the, the program. Uh, and then we had uh, uh, Peter Anlin, who's a consultant and one of the co-chairs, uh, talking about uh, the two days that will be here. And then we had uh, the, the sponsor, Love Fest. They, they, each of the sponsors came up, got a, all the 30 seconds to, to give their pitch, which was fine. And then uh, the meat of the morning was uh, uh, Rick Watson, uh, who gave a great uh, talk on on capital and how to maximize capital and digitize capital. 
Uh, real quick, what did you make of that uh, that discussion this morning? Well, it was interesting. I mean, he, he argued essentially that capital, which comes in multiple forms, whether it's economic capital, social capital, human capital, et cetera, um, you know, the goal of any organization is to transform existing capital uh, and to essentially maximize that and, and transform that into new capital, whether that's revenue, profit, however you define that. Um, so he argued that digitizing capital uh, is a way to actually accelerate that process of driving economic value. And he tied that into the CDO position. The, the, way, he, the way he outlined it is, is he looked at kind of three key duties he thought uh, that the CDO should have in this uh, in this kind of world of where you're looking to digitize capital. Those were link organ organizational strategy to the digitization, digitization of capital, uh, develop and implement a plan to digitize that capital, and of course promote in, uh, the exploitation of digitized capital, i.e. analyze that data to make actionable uh, Insightful decisions. Uh, I would say those are three pretty good, uh, three pretty good uses uh, of a CDO's time. I would argue there's also another component around minimizing risk uh, around the use of that digitized capital. Um, we've seen a number of instances of organizations over the last several years um, analyzing data and reaching out to customers, doing marketing campaigns that maybe cross some ethical lines um, and some other risks associated with uh, collecting, storing, and analyzing customer data. So I would argue that there's another component as well, and we'll talk to Dr. Watson today about that on theCUBE. Okay, so stay tuned everybody. Uh, we'll be going, as I say, wall to wall. This is theCUBE, we go out to the events, we extract the signal from the noise. This is Dave Vellante here with Jeff Kelly and Paul Gillen. We'll be right back after this word.